dress or suit either way that power looks so good on you hey barbie welcome to ms mojo and today we're counting down our picks for the most stylish looks the barbie movies wardrobe team put together wait until you see my dream house everything i've bought and owned will totally inspire you and we can change clothes again number 10 camping barbie and so barbie and ken set off on their adventure to the real world we don't get to see much of the camping look, except for a few brief flashes during the journeying montages to and from Barbie Land. Still, even for those short moments, we are head over wedge heels for the outfit. <laughs> the pink three-quarter length pants and white button-up are cute on their own, but the matching pink bandana and bold jewelry really finish off the look. It's much simpler compared to some of the other extravagant outfits in the movie, but it's so adorable and feels almost wearable. If you were camping with a Barbie dream camper, that is. Hey, you. She was always my favorite Barbie. You're my favorite human. Number nine, pastel plaid number. This outfit goes through some transformations to match Barbie's emotions, and we don't think it's an accident that they chose this ensemble to show that with. It's very prim and proper to begin with. A high neck, a perfectly tied bow, and a boater hat make for quite the sophisticated look while the pastel plaid adds something fun. Something's weird today. The accessories are the first to come off, and later, when we see her at Weird Barbie's place and she's at her lowest, the colors seem more washed out and her top is undone so that it looks a lot more casual. The shedding of layers is a great metaphor here, but beyond that, the patterns and colors are just so flattering. I'm just gonna sit here and wait and hope that one of the more leadership-oriented Barbies just snaps out of it does something about this whole mess. Number eight, pink jumpsuits. These jumpsuits are everything, and not just because this is such a pivotal moment in the movie. One minute I was president, and then the next I was cutting a Ken steak for him. Welcome back, Madam President. The shade of pink, the fun accessories, the white sneakers, the headband stereotypical Barbie is wearing. There's so much to be obsessed with. We have a theory that everyone looks great in a jumpsuit, because even Alan is rocking it. <laughs> The cleanup crew at the beginning of the movie have some pretty cute uniforms, too. It's nice to know that if nothing else, everyone in Barbie Land will always be well dressed. All those in favor of letting Barbie Land be Barbie Land, say I. <laughs> Number 7 Sailor's Outfit. We love a theme, and if Barbie executes anything well, it is certainly a theme. Come on, Barbie, let's run towards the water! Okay. From the color scheme to the nautical rope pattern to the helm on the belt, the details on this one are incredible. Not to mention those to die for anchor earrings. Keen eyes may have also noticed the matching bracelet. The high collar and high waisted shorts give some nice structure to the look, too. And actually, this entire scene is filled with cute outfits. From Dr. Barbie's bright turquoise number to Ryder Barbie's colorful plaid ensemble with a visor and statement necklace to give it the finishing touch. Bad breath this morning, a cold shower, burnt waffle, and falling off my roof. <gasps> You're malfunctioning. Number six, preppy blue fit. Don't blame me, blame Mattel, they make the rules. <gasps> Too, uh... Fine, get cellulite. I don't care. No! No, 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 no. There are a few different blue outfits seen throughout this film, and they are all stunning. But stereotypical Barbie's preppy and posh one is definitely a standout. It's styled beautifully, with a high ponytail and hair bow, bangs, and big statement earrings. The vivid color does so much to bring out Margot Robbie's eyes, and the shoes and socks paired with it look sensational. Next to the blue and white heart dress, it's hard to deny how great Robbie looks in the color. How are we supposed to be worried about a little cellulite when she's wearing something so magnificent? That's gonna spread what? everywhere, and then you're gonna start getting sad and wishy and complicated. No! Number five, rollerblading getup. I feel what can only be described as admired, but not ogled. And there's no undertone of violence. Where to even begin with these? If there's one thing we love more than a bold outfit, it's two bold outfits that pair together. When Ken and Barbie make their way to the real world, it puts into perspective just how gray and boring our world can look. It's sort of crazy how quickly we get used to the bright, vivid colors of Barbie Land. The neon may have been a bit much for the judgment of the Venice Beach skate park, but we think it's perfect Barbie couture. What's going on? Give us a smile, Blondie! This is absolutely controlled chaos, and definitely one of the most striking outfits from the movie. Ladies! 
Number four, gold disco jumpsuit. If there's one thing Barbie Land does not lack, it is sparkles. Fortunately, everyone gets to wear them at some point, and stereotypical Barbie even sleeps among them. Still, nothing quite compares to the glowing gold number she's seen in during her giant blowout party with all the Barbies and planned choreography and a bespoke song. Show-stopping is really the only word to describe this outfit. And not just because Barbie literally does end up stopping the show. Do you guys ever think about dying? It's complete with matching gold heels and jewelry, and a headpiece that's giving butterfly wings. Plus, we just love how it twinkles against all the different lighting. Number three, picnic dress. The moment we saw this dress, we knew we were gonna love the costumes in this movie. It's the perfect intro outfit. It takes up space, but in a sweet, elegant way, and has some accessories that are just so reminiscent of the doll. If we were playing dress up with our Barbies, this would probably be our go-to outfit for her. Later, when Barbie heads to the beach, we would get a distinctly more summer version of this outfit, complete with a heart cut out in the back, a sun hat, and some apt seashell jewelry. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. Number two, Ken's Fojo Mojo Mink. I'll see you on the Malibu beach. How could any of Ken's outfits possibly compare to this one? Sure, there's the pink and mint striped beach outfit and the cut-off denim jacket, but none of that comes close to the absolute drama of the fur coat. Complete with leather fingerless gloves, a lightning-adorned headband, a horse necklace, and a whole lot of fringe, this look is the perfect conglomeration of campy masculinity for a person who just learned about the patriarchy. Somehow, we feel like IRL Doll Ken never had an outfit that even came close to this. It's all kinds of over-the-top and goofy, just the way we like our Ken. Ken! I want you to have it. Oh, that's nice. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Sparkly President's Dress. We don't even get to see the whole thing, but she still looks absolutely fabulous. How come you're so amazing? No comment! Black Barbie president! No, seriously, no comment. I love you guys. Weird Barbie's splatter jacket and pants. How does one make weird look so cool? Hey. Wait. Yeah. Oh, hello. I just want to say it. I'm sorry we called you Weird Barbie behind your back and also to your face. Okay. Ken's Barbie jacket. We love a man who reps his girl. Let's do this. Can I sit in the front? No. Alan's one outfit. He needs this. Hi, Barbie. Oh, hi, Alan. There are no multiples of Alan. He's just Alan. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused about that. The Chanel look. Can we call her bougie Barbie? I'm ready. Thank you. Here I go. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the Knuff hoodie. What better outfit is there than a plush tie-dye hoodie with an uplifting message? Thank you. Thank you, Barbie. Okay, we're just kidding. We didn't forget. Number one, cowgirl and cowboy getups. We're not sure what we thought a whole hot pink cowgirl outfit would look like, but this exceeded our expectations either way. We look great. I love fringe. I love denim. <laughs> Robbie looks positively radiant. The structure of both the top and bell-bottom pants, the little stars on the backside, the matching hat and boots, and even the handkerchief around Barbie's neck work fantastically together. She's impossible to miss, and in the best way. And we're not forgetting about Ken, either. What am I supposed to do? Ken! Go for a walk or something. By myself? Yes. Really? Where? Anywhere! Can I go that way? Yes. Okay. The all-black ensemble with fringe and the pink handkerchief? He's totally rocking the aesthetic. That's probably where the horse theme should have ended, though. <laughs> If you could only wear one of these outfits, which would it be? Let us know in the comments. You look so beautiful, Barbie. Thanks, Barbie. I feel so beautiful. 
Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.